Hello, I'm Ron Bailey from BibleBase.com and this is the second of some tutorials I want to give to help you get to grips with this wonderful online free resource for deeper Bible study called the Blue Letter Bible. I want to try and explain a little bit about the way we used to work in the old days and the way that you can work now with the Blue Letter Bible. In the old days, it could be really quite expensive. I would use all of these books as a young pastor when I was trying to understand the way in which the Bible used the words, the significance of the words. The Blue Letter Bible is based on the King James Version linked to something called Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. Those are the two books here in the foreground. Let me try and explain just exactly how they're used. Suppose I have in my mind that reference in Matthew 25 where it speaks about the giving of different talents and it says according to his several, that's individual, ability. And I'm trying to think now, what does this mean, his several ability? I look up the word ability in the main concordance part of my Strong's Concordance, the paper version, and it tells me, in fact, that there are no less than six different three Hebrew, three Greek words which are translated by the single word ability in my English Bible. Well, that's not going to help me very much because I can't use those verses to tell me what ability means because they're actually all translations of different words. There is a way, though, through Strong's number coding. By Matthew 25, 15 here, you'll see in italics, that means the Greek part of it, one, four, double, one. If I go to the rear of Strong's Concordance and I look at the, um, the actual dictionary part, I find this. There's my word, one, four, one, one, dunamis. The Greek spelling, the English transliteration, the way to say it. And then there's a very brief dictionary definition. It's a... It's a force, especially, he says, a miraculous power. That's not very much to go on at this point. Then there's another list of words. Ability, abundance, meaning, might, power, strength, violence, mighty works. What are all they about? It's telling us that the translators of the King James Bible have actually translated the single Greek word dunamis by all those different English words. So sometimes they came across dunamis and they translated it as ability, sometimes as abundance, sometimes as meaning, sometimes as might, sometimes as power, sometimes as strength. You can see the way it works out. Now, was there a way then of actually finding out the sense of what dunamis meant? Well, there was, but it was a very long-winded way. You'd have to work your way through this list. You'd start off with ability and you'd find out where it had the Strong's number 1411 against it and then you'd make a reference that Bible text on a piece of paper. Then you'd do the same thing for abundance and then meaning and you'd work your way through the list. And as a young pastor, I spent hours doing this and ending up with um, pages of Bible references. Then I would just sit and think about them and try to get a feel for the way the Bible used that particular word. You can now do it in the click of a switch. This is how we used to live. Alexander Cruden created the first Bible Concordance in 1737. And then there was a much more comprehensive one in 1879, done by Robert Young. And then the most comprehensive of all was James Strong in 1890, which led to some people saying it was Cruden's for the crude and Young's for the young and Strong's for the strong. They were very valuable tools. In the 70s, 80s, the Baker Bible linked some really key study tools to each other using Strong's numbers. There was a very comprehensive Greek dictionary called a lexicon, which really would have been close to anyone who didn't have a good grasp of Greek. But now you could find the Greek word because it, it was linked to Strong's numbers. Gazenius had done the same thing for Hebrew. These were ways, wigrams are ways in which you could take, for example, in the Greek, 
that one word, one four double one, and you'd then get a whole list of all the references with just enough of the verse to show you what it actually meant. We want it from Matthew 25, verse 15. Here it is. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to every man according to his several ability. And then straightway he took a journey. What does this word mean? Do you remember when we looked in the first tutorial, we said that if you page up this particular list of your search, there's an option here that you can click to show you the Strong's numbers. Now if we go down to 25 and verse 15, we find that by the word ability, we've got a number. That it's our 1411 number. If we click it, it takes us to this page where there is just stacks of stuff. There's our Strong's number again, just reminding us we've got the right word. This is the Greek uh, spelling. This is the English transliteration. Here we have a much more comprehensive dictionary of what the word means. A little bit farther down, we're given the information that the authorised version, or the King James Version, has 120 times in which the Greek word dunamis has been translated, but 77 of those have translated as power, 11 as mighty work, 7 as strength, 7 as miracle, 4 as might, 3 as virtue, 2 as mighty, and actually inside that miscellaneous is our one word ability. So you can see that just tracing an English word is not always going to help you really get to the bottom of what a Greek word might have meant. A little bit farther on here, we have Thea Grimm. That's this very comprehensive Bible dictionary I told you about. If you click here, now you'll get a very different kind of a definition of your Greek word. That might be a little bit too much for some people, but it's worth digging into just to have a look. But this is the real power of it. If we continue to, to page down, we have this list of all the different times that dunamis, one four double one, was used. Here it was translated power, here works, here mighty works. If we went farther on, we'd find it translated as all kinds of different things. That's powers. Irrespective of the way in which the King James Version has translated it, you can now find every single time that that Greek word is used in the Bible without knowing a word of Greek. That puts tremendous power in your hands if you're willing just to spend a little time with it. I'll see you later.